everyone. So today I decided to record a little speed drawing video of me decorating a mini Starbucks cup. For the theme of this cup, I decided to do a galaxy universe type of a theme with my own planet designs. Uh, it's something that I've actually been wanting to do for a while. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And I want to eventually create the same type of look onto a larger cup, so I figured maybe I'd practice on a little one and later on I'll go get around to doing the uh, bigger cup. So yeah! I also figured that since I do these so often and I get so many questions about my Starbucks cup art, I would go ahead and answer a few questions that are commonly asked. Uh, I think the first most commonly asked question would be, how did I get inspired to decorate Starbucks cups? Well, I started my Starbucks cup art journey back in 2014 after seeing one of my art idols named Christina Webb create artwork on Starbucks cups. So being inspired by this, I decided to try it out for myself. And my cup designs ended up being a huge hit. And I changed up the style so it would be something of my own. Something that you would look at it and go like, yeah, that's Kara's. And I just kept creating them to this day. The next most commonly asked question I get would be, do I sell my Starbucks cups? And if so, how much are they? Sadly, the answer to that question is no, I do not sell the Starbucks cup art. And this is because of the Starbucks logo. I have the possibility of getting sued if I try to sell it because that logo is copyrighted and frankly I don't have the money nor time to deal with an issue like that so I just completely say I can't sell them. Now that being said, I do have a logo design in case I ever like get plain white cups, I could try to use my own design to try and create and sell them eventually, but I don't know how to get that logo onto the cups yet, so that's a work in progress. <laughs> Regardless, that's the answer. Sorry guys. The next question is how long does it take for me to create these cup arts? Now for cup art this size, it takes me anywhere from an hour to two hours to create the entire design, but on a grande sized cup, that can take anywhere from like 8 to 16 hours. So if you ever wonder why I don't take requests for them, that's primarily why. It takes a lot of time and I mean I don't mind doing like little requests maybe for the little cups, but the large ones, uh, <laughs> they take a little bit too much time for me to do requests on them. On to the next question. Uh, the next question is, what materials do I use for my cup arts? The most common materials I use for my cup arts would be Sharpies, Copic markers, and a white jelly roll pen by Sakura. That being said, I also sometimes dip into Prismacolored pencil like I used in this for the logo, or touch markers or hoo-hoo markers. It really depends on what I have available. The final, most commonly asked question would be, can you drink out of these cups, and if not, what do you use them for? Unfortunately, you cannot drink out of these cups because there is the potential to ruin the artwork on the outside. However, you can use these cups to hold brushes, markers, colored pencils, erasers, anything you can really think of. Uh, for a cup this size in particular, I would use it for rings, earrings, etc. I don't wear earrings, but that's just an example. So yeah, I hope this video answers a few of your questions that you may have had about my Starbucks cup art. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like and possibly subscribe if you want. See you guys in the next video. Bye!